In the last video, we looked at how all the numbers on the clock face are telling us the hours, and that the shorthand, the hour hand, tells us which hour it is, which hour it's just gone past, or which hour it's just coming up to. The minute hand doesn't use the numbers that you see on the clock face, and most clocks and watches don't show you what those minutes are. So we're going to look here at how to learn those. Remember from the last video that when the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, it's something o'clock. When it's pointing down at the 6, it's half past something. When it's pointing at the 3, it's quarter past something. We also looked at when the minute hand is pointing to the 9 and it's quarter to. But for this video, we're just going to look at the minutes past. The green side of the clock is the minutes past, and the blue side is the minutes to. And we'll look at the blue side in the next video. When the minute hand is pointing at the one, it's telling us that it's five minutes past something. Five minutes past whatever the last hour was, whatever the last o'clock. So here, the last hour was four o'clock. Now that the hand has moved to the one, it's telling us that it's five minutes past four. When the minute hand is on the two, that's telling us that it's ten minutes past the hour. So now it's ten past four. Remember that when the minute hand is on the three, it's quarter past. That's the same as 15 minutes past. When the minute hand is on the four, that's telling us that it's 20 past something. 20 minutes past the hour, that's telling us here that it's 20 minutes past four. When the minute hand is pointing to the five on the clock face, that's telling us that it's 25 minutes past something. And here it's telling us that it's 25 minutes past four. Finally, remember that when the minute hand is pointing down to the six, it's half past something. And that's the same as saying 30 minutes past something. So here it's half past four or 30 minutes past four. Something that is nice and easy about these minutes that helps you to learn them a little more quickly is that you can count in fives. So from one down to six, we're counting five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That makes it a little, little bit easier to learn. On this clock, I'm showing you the minutes, but on most clocks and watches, you don't see that. So you can see why this is confusing for children. Just to add to that confusion, there's more than one way of saying the time on a clock. With this one, for example, first of all, see if you can work out what time it's saying. Quickly pause the video while you work that out. How did you get on working that out? The hour hand is pointing near to the seven, just past the seven. The minute hand is pointing at 10 minutes past. That is telling us that this is 10 minutes past seven. Most people say 10 past seven. It means exactly the same thing. Just to add a bit more confusion, some people say the time as seven ten, which is how we normally read the time from a digital clock. It's good to be aware of all of these so that no matter how somebody says the time, your child will understand exactly what time they're talking about. Pause the video if you need to work out the time on this one. The minute hand is on the five, which is telling us that it's 25 past something, and the hour hand is just past the 10. So it's 25 minutes past 10, or just 25 past 10. And as I mentioned before, some people will say the hour first, then the minutes, 10.25. This time I've taken away those minute guides. It doesn't matter if your child has to count around 5, 10, 15. 
they'll soon get used to which is which. Pause the video if you need to work this one out. 5, 10, 15, that's 15 minutes past 9. Or we could just say quarter past 9 because it's a quarter of the way round the clock. And some people will say 9.15. Pause the video and have a go at this one. It's five minutes past something and the hour hand is pointing at the two. It's five minutes past two, or you could just say five past two. Some people will say 2.05. Pause the video, have a go at this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's 30 minutes past something. You'll also see that it's half past something. The hour hand has gone past the three. And this is the side of the clock that shows us how many minutes passed. So the time is 30 minutes past three. Or you could just say half past three. Some people just say half three. Or you could say 3.30. Pause the video, have a go at working this one out. 5, 10, 15, 20. It's 20 past something. Where has the hour hand just gone past? It's just gone past the 12. So it's 20 minutes past 12, or just 20 past 12, or 12.20. Pause the video and have a go at this one. It's 10 past something and the hour hand is pointing just past the 6. 10 minutes past 6 or 10 past 6 or 6, 10. Last one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's 25 minutes past something. Where has that hour hand just gone past? Well, it's gone past the 5. So it's 25 minutes past five or 25 past five or you could say 525.